light is your number one security tool. It's the one thing that you're going to use more than anything else uh, for the initial self-defense. It's your first line of defense. So today we're going to take a look at the First Light USA T-Max Pro. It's a very unique design, a very cool user-friendly system. And we're going to get into this a little bit different than most of your weapons mounted lights. And yet it kind of falls in between a handheld light and one that you can use to support your gun. Now just to let you know, during the review, you're going to hear a lot of little bumping. Uh, those are raindrops, and it's raining outside, so I'm inside doing the review. <laughs> now one of the first things that hits me is the design of this light. It is an angled light, or an angled headlight, and uh, you know, just like the old military lights that have been used for a long time, you know, it really makes it very ergonomic, and the way the light shines, the way your hand is held, uh, which I think they're taking cues after that. Your handgun comes up and you brace it like this uh, and then so what really is the key to this is that it gives you freedom so I can pull this around I still retain the light and yet I can manipulate my slide um, you know and of course this gun is unloaded but um, I can manipulate my slide I can mess with the functions and I do what I need to do grab another magazine if I need to but one of the big things about a light like this and guys my home defense light is on my uh, on a pistol but one of the things that I've always been concerned about is pointing the light uh, at an innocent now with the first light T-Max Pro what one of the huge benefits of this is being able to shine this light uh, without pointing a gun at someone it's a weapons light but you're able to to use this individually and separately but then you can bring your firearm and use that as a support hand one of the real cool features is that you have these fingers that you can operate the handgun. So I can rack the slide if I have any problems. I can drop the magazine. I've still got full dexterity with my fingers. Uh, just holding that right there between the index finger and it just rests that way. So I don't even have to worry about holding on to it. It stays in place. When firing the handgun, I can press. I get my light. I have my handgun ready to go. So I can bring it up. Boom. Still have my light, I can shut it off, it's on momentary, makes it really nice. Here I've got my thumb right here, press momentary on, bring the light up, shining it. Got my light, be able to see my sights, see my target, be able to identify it again. Still have dexterity to be able to change my magazines if I need to. Here with the standard push button light, okay I have my separate light, bringing your firearm up, you can bring it here. If you need to turn that light off quickly though, you've got to readjust your grip. And that can definitely be a problem. Another thing is too, is shining your light like this. You know, you can do this, but then you've got to transition to get to your pistol. With the first light, I have it right here. I've got it in the same angle, put it up. Same angle, don't have to do anything, release. You know, I've been using flashlights for a number of years with handguns, some mounted, some not. I really like having just a basic flashlight with me at all times, uh, not necessarily one on the pistol. Because again, I don't want to point this at innocent bystanders. Uh, you know, the chance of shooting someone is the most important. But you can also face legal consequences, again, if you're pointing a loaded weapon at someone that you're not intending to. Now, all the components, the design, everything about this light is made in the USA, uh, in Seymour, Illinois. Uh, and it's a, a very small company, but they are not only selling to civilians, but they also have a large market with police and with military units as well. They're, it's up to really strict standards. Uh, they do have a number of different models, but this is one of their more premium models. With the crenulated stainless bezel right here at the front, then you have a crenulated bezel at the battery cap. The uh, light ring around here is going to give you different colors, and we'll look at that. And then, of course, the center. It's going to give you 700 lumens of light. Uh, the finger uh, loop right here, the way it sits in your hand, and they suggest, and this is adjustable, but they suggest that you have it sort of at an angle as your index finger goes across like this. This really makes it very natural. Uh, you have a metal clip, and this metal clip is great for the belt, but it's also designed to go onto Molly compatible gear. Fitting it right onto Molly gear, push it down, clip it in. The clip retains the way it's bent. It's going to retain itself and then push down and then it removes very easily. A neoprene sleeve that goes right here to give you even more comfort. 
Uh, so it just really fits the hand very well. And your thumb naturally can come up right here to your control panel. Uh, it is a rubber boot and first you see this crescent which naturally you're going to hit it and press and you get the 700 lumens. This is your turbo setting and it's only for momentary and this is of course going to save your battery life. Uh, right up front here with the dash and the circle uh, that is your uh, constant on. So press and hold and you get white light. This is 425 lumens. Uh, to get different mode settings right here at this circle with the arrows just press press and you go into the three different settings. Uh, this is at 425, 80, and then 5 lumens. Then press the on off and you're back off. Now to get into the different colors, and there's a number of different colors. There's uh, red, green, blue, and then there's an emergency beacon color that's actually red, green, and white. And so we're going to go through that and I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, this same button that you do to press your constant on, instead of pressing and holding, press and release. And you can see the red. Now this is at the lowest red setting. So where the circles are with the arrow, press and you start to go through your different settings. And So you have three different settings for each color. And then we're just going to turn it off. Now to go through the various colors and to find the color so when you press and release, we're going to hit the circle with the arrows and do it quickly. So we go red, green, blue, and we can go all the way through the different mode settings. And whichever one you decide to leave it on, when you go over here, it'll be at that setting. And here we have the blue setting. I'm going to go through the different color modes just for you to check them out. So we do it quickly and you can see that you can go through the different variations of color. Here is the red and green together and this is an emergency beacon and uh, I'm going to show you that is a strobe feature and also just the white lights a strobe feature. To get to the strobe, take the base of your thumb and press on the uh, momentary and then press on the uh, circle with the arrows and then you have strobe. Uh, to go to strobe for the emergency beacon, up here at the front, go ahead and press and hold, let it go to white, and then it'll go straight into strobe. You can actually release and just let that run. Now, if your battery starts to run low, this little lock will flash. Uh, if you want to go into lockout mode, take both of these two front buttons, press, and then you have lockout. So, no matter what I do, I'm getting that red and there's no light. To get back out of lockout, just press and hold. Then we're back at it. The T-Max Pro is waterproof up to two meters. Uh, you can drop it up to a meter for shock resistance. Still shining bright. Okay, here we have the first light. We're going to do a little test with the illumination. This is just the momentary and uh, real nice and bright. 700 lumens. This is the green and red. Now we're going to different colors. Blue. Then we have red. Then we have green. And then we have the red green. And this is great for signaling. And you can operate this from minus 20 degrees up to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so these lights will take whatever you can pretty much dish out. Uh, they do have a limited lifetime warranty. Uh, in fact, uh, they are anything that happens to them, you send it back to First Light, they will either repair it or they'll replace it. Uh, if you are in a foreign country, uh, it is limited to 10 years just because of the logistics. Uh, these are made in the USA again, 100% uh, American made labor, 90% US made materials. Uh, there are some things that they just can't get here in the US, but if they can, they will. We're going to kind of disassemble things here and the head turns and then also the battery cap. So uh, pulling the battery cap out and of course revealing the two CR123s, then you can 
turn this and remove the finger loop. The finger loop fits in and just holds right here and then when you tighten down it holds into place but still you can uh, move this around if you need to to adjust it. Uh, to get the clip off you have to completely unscrew and then you can pull the clip all the way off. There is a gasket right here to seal it and then the clips off. Here you have the body, you have the head of the light here and then this is self-contained inside the light. Make sure your gaskets are in place and everything's tight though when you reassemble to make sure that everything is waterproof. Comes in a really nice little plastic case with foam padding, of course your owner's manual. You do get the batteries and you get a spare finger loop. Now they do feature two different mounting systems that are available separately as accessories. Uh, this is the TRS mounting system. Uh, we have one that is definitely a tech lock and then also we have a magnetic mount that will it's really super strong. Uh, here we have a little release button that releases this sleeve. And this goes on right here and replaces your neoprene sleeve. You can see the machine knurling right here and that also helps to retain that neoprene sleeve into place. Take the mounting point, slide it in, and it locks right into place. Want to remove it, hit this, pull right up, and you're ready to go. Slips right here into place. You want it, just hit and pull up. Very intuitive. Here placing it in the magnetic mount, ready to go. This thing is secure. See how well it holds? That is not going anywhere. In fact, when you pull it off, you have to actually peel it off. It's a really strong system. Now I want to thank Marshall for sending this light for the review and uh, you, these are available at Going Gear. Uh, the price on the First Light T-Max Pro is $279, which you know is kind of a, a pretty good investment for a flashlight. Uh, but with all the quality and features of this light made in the USA and a full lifetime guarantee, that's just what the light is. And to me, it's worth that price. Now, there are other lights on the First Light website uh, that they do offer. In fact, Going Gear carries the Torque model, which runs $99.95, has less lumens, less features, actually has a polymer body, but it is a really cool light just in itself. Uh, and then they also make some lights. In fact, they do offer the T-Max Pro without all the different color modes, and it runs $199. Uh, so, you know, there are other options out there. This is really the top of the line. So a great light system, very bright, and I'll tell you guys, um, you know, once you start using this, it's really intuitive. And again, especially if you're concerned, like for me, we have three teenage kids at home you know at night coming in or you know they work and sometimes they're up and about uh, you know having a light to illuminate things that's separate from your gun can be a very vital thing the t-max pro by first light thumbs way up be strong be of good courage god bless america long live the republic The little button right up front here, press it and hold. Here you have four, oops, crap. Uh, a neuroprene, 